Welcome back. I'm Peggy and this is LiveInRetirement.com and today I'm going to be making the most amazing oatmeal muffins that you have ever tasted but more importantly they are responsible for Eric's cholesterol medication being cut in half because he has to go do blood tests uh, every three months because of his kidney transplant and long story short I st we started eating these oatmeal cakes that we purchased at Wegmans so here they are and they cost $2.50 each they are responsible for Eric's cholesterol medication being cut in half so I started looking for something that would be similar I have found it in spades he actually thinks these are better. They're just under 300 calories for two muffins. You're not gonna believe how easy it is. The recipe I'm using is from Eating Well, and it's called the Breakfast Blueberry Oatmeal Cake. But it's with some twists. I do a few things differently, and I think it makes the taste that much better. What I was trying to do was mimic those Wegman cakes that he absolutely loves and eats every single day um, and has been for the last three months. So there's been a big change that I've made to the recipe from eating well. And that is replacing the low fat milk with vanilla almond milk. And it makes it a richer, more uh, earthy flavor to it. And it more mimics the oatmeal cakes that we were buying from Wegmans because when you look at the ingredients on those um, Wegman cakes they had almond milk in it not just regular milk so the hardest thing about this whole recipe is remembering to get the oatmeal and having it soak in the almond milk for about eight hours what I do is I do this in the morning and then I make them that evening. This is ready to go. You can see the mixture of oatmeal and of the almond milk. And just recently I started adding flaxseed. So that wasn't in the last three month period, but we'll see what that does to his numbers and see if it helps us at all as well. So one thing I want to show you too before I push this big old box away, this is from Costco. This is the kind you want to get, the old-fashioned, 100% old green oatmeal. And getting it at Costco, I know this is a huge box, but let me tell you something. It was half the price of buying just the standard. And these are, it's very cheap anyway, but Costco. The beautiful thing about this recipe is you can freeze these muffins and they taste fantastic. You put them in the microwave for 40 seconds. Eric puts a little whipped cream on top as well. It tastes like you just made them that morning. The next ingredient is maple syrup. And it's very important that you get pure maple syrup. This happens to be uh, the state of Vermont pure maple syrup. And we got this again at Costco. Next ingredient, canola oil. This one is again a lower calorie, better for you oil. Again, Kirkland, Costco. The next ingredient is vanilla. And again, bought this at Costco. Just way less expensive. We use a little salt, iodized salt. This is uh, the salt sense. It is real salt, but it's been flaked, so it's less sodium, 33% less sodium. And then baking powder, I wanna show you this as well. This one has sodium free. So great stuff here if you wanna find it. I have found it at Whole Foods. Wegmans is actually uh, carrying it now. So those are the really um, key ingredients and there's eggs. So I'm gonna add this, uh, these ingredients to this mixture. These are the eggs, the ingredients. This is the pure maple syrup. I like to get every drop so I dig in there and get it all out. Next ingredient is that vanilla, that delicious vanilla. Here's that canola oil. 
Here is the baking powder, cinnamon, and the um, salt, key ingredients. And I already put the flax seed into this mixture, and then you just mix it up. Make sure it's mixed really well. That's one of the key things. You can't over mix this stuff, unlike any other kind of batter that you may have to be careful. But I just want to make sure I've got all the cinnamon that when I put them in the tins in the muffin cups, they aren't, you don't get one with a lot of cinnamon and then other ones don't have anything. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is put the muffin mixture into the muffin tins. And what I do, and again, this is a little different than the recipe, is I use muffin cups because it's just so much easier, so much cleaner, and I just pop these babies in. And now all you do is just spray with a little cooking spray. I'm using the Canola Oil Kirkland brand Costco uh, cooking spray, and just a little bit in each one. And now here's a key. Make sure that you get a one quarter cup, fill it to the top, and put it into your muffin tin. It's gonna work out perfect for you. You will not need to, you might have to do just a little bit at the end to spread it out, but not much at all. And that is it. Okay, and last but not least, as I've told you in the past, I always freeze extra blueberries or whatever else that I have. I have some blueberries, a cup and a half, because again, I doubled it. I have some leftover raspberries as well. So I'm gonna put those on top, and then I'm gonna pop this in the oven, and we're gonna be good to go. Now, all I'm gonna do is just sprinkle a few on each one, and then if I have any left over, I will add you know, more as needed. So this is a pretty simple process. The oven's been preheating at 375. I'm gonna put it in for 25 to 30 minutes, and then that's it. I'm gonna put them in the freezer and Eric will be eating them tomorrow morning. Okay, so that's it. And I hope you love these as much as we do. And I hope more importantly, that it brings your cholesterol down as well. I hope something here today will help you live your best retirement. And if you have any other tips or recipes or anything else, please join the discussion at liveinretirement.com. Let's talk. And that'll take you to our Facebook page group and you can join the discussion as well. Thanks again.